Hello everybody. That is a uh, dude from The Simpsons, right? I think. I think it has to be. That's what I remember. Uh, okay, so I just got done. I met a friend from. I haven't seen him in like years, I think. I think I bumped into him once when I. Uh, before I left to Washington. Um, so we, we just talked about like stuff that, you know, whatever. <laughs> and um, I was walking around the mall because I had time to kill because I have to pick up Oscar. So. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that my right side of my hair is like a lot, it's straightened a lot nicer than my left side. And that is because I was walking through the mall and this guy stops me from one of those little carts where they, they only get paid like on commission or something, trying to sell me a straightener, right? He showed me. And yes, the straightener is really nice and the vitamins he put in my hair did my, make my hair look nicer. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. See, right side versus normal, ugly, poofy left side, which is... He, it, the, stra the straightener cost like $300. He said, for you, $150. Plus this comb. Plus this conditioner. Whoa, the echo in here. It's made me sound really loud. So he's like, plus the this hair vitamins. I'm actually going around the store because I'm trying to avoid him because I do not want to go back. And he's like, he's like, for you, $150. And then I'm like, I can't afford that right now. And then he's like, what can you afford? And then I'm like, I really can't afford it. What can you afford? I, I really can't afford it. What can you afford? And I'm like, like nothing. Not even $20. I'll give you this comb and cream and shampoo for $20. I'm like, no, nothing, nothing. He's like, $20. And you keep it on the hush hush. $20, all of it. <laughs> what, well, besides the straightener, right? And then I'm like, no, no, thank you. I'm sorry, I can't. And I'm trying to be so nice because <laughs> I hate rejecting people. And he wouldn't give it up. And I was like, this is so crazy. <laughs> And it just, sorry. <laughs> he would not let it go and it was insane. It, I, would, I mean, he sat me down the chair, he put stuff on my hair, he started straightening my hair and I'm like, he's a nice guy and everything, but I just, I can't, yeah. <laughs> I get, because I'm, I can't buy something that's out of my price range just because I want to be nice to the person, you know? So. <laughs> it's so it's so funny that I have to go all the way around the store back to the car where I parked just so I can avoid him because <laughs> I don't want to bump into him again. So that, that was my day avoiding people at the mall who try to sell me things. We have hit a milestone ladies and gentlemen. Look at her. <laughs> Come here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 11 years of trying to teach that bitch to sit and she finally did it. She finally did it. Yes! Stubborn bitch. And she finally did it today. Huh, Fluffy? Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, okay, you too, you too, you too. Can't talk about anyone but you, huh, Maya? Get away. Get away from me. I don't love you anymore. Go! And she brings me a ball. <laughs> you! Yes! You! You hit a milestone. You hit a milestone. You camera hug. It's all about Fluffy to. Whoa, you see? You see? You see? Get out of here. Get out of here. Look at your cute little face. Cute little face. You, I love you. Look at her. Look at her. Maya. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. You get praise. You too, Fluffy. Good job. Bitches be crazy. <laughs>